ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Aquatico, which is an underwater city builder colony sim game. Anyway, let's jump into it. I am very, very excited uh, to give you my thoughts and opinions of this game. Um, let's call it Orbital Underwater uh, X. Ex Expo. Okay, well, I was gonna type uh, exploratory base, but apparently that's just um, that's just too large. Uh, let's go for something that looks enlightened. Something like um, I mean, that looks pretty. That looks pretty good. I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe let's go over yellow. I'm trying to contrast them with the the, the deep blue ocean. Anyway, uh, as I say, let's jump into the game and um, we'll talk about some of the features. Um, first things first. There is a little bit of um, there is a little bit of a backstory with this one. Uh, supposedly. The last, the last place that humans can possibly hope to survive is under the water, um, as they iconically said in The Little Mermaid, under the sea. Uh, and so we're going to do our very best for humanity, and hopefully we're going to be able to build up a, a nice little colony and build up a, a nice little society uh, down here amongst the amongst the whales and the turtles and the dolphins and all of the all of the different variety of fishies, uh, which I hope we will uh, come across. Anyway, uh, yeah, very, 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 very much looking forward um, to checking out this game. Right, so there's only one map. This is the um, this is the alpha version, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, we've got to place our We've got to place our base in the first instance. A couple of places that we can't build. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter uh, where we end up going. Uh, it's probably worth us maybe doing something like here. And also there is the, the a massive abyss, by the way, down the side. If you're not a fan of looking, um, you know, looking looking down looking down into the to the ocean and seeing nothing below your feet, well, this might not be the game for you because it is a little bit disconcerting. Right, welcome, Sea Mayor. That's that's a Strange name. Anyway, uh, leading an underwater colony is a great responsibility, but we at the New Atlantis Initiative have no doubt that you can handle it. Going underwater is our last chance of survival since the asteroid hit and made the surface uninhabitable. Focus on the production of plastics for construction, fuel for heating, and food for our people. The cold winter currents will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind in these hard times. Build a gatherer's place to collect basic food. Build a sponge collector to gather sponge. Build an oil platform and a fuel refinery to provide heating and build a plastic factory. Uh, you'll need plastic for further construction. Cool. Okay, so as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. I've done the tutorial. I know what I'm talking about. And I will try to extrapolate that knowledge uh, onto you, dear viewer. Okay, uh, so let's pause and take stock. We got a couple of these underwater drones. These are, for the most part, our workers. We also have a couple of humans here. Uh, Hannah, apparently, and Andrew. There we go. They're walking around in these funky sort of deep sea suits. Very, very cool indeed. Up at the top left hand corner and I guess uh, on the top right hand corner as well in fact all up at the top uh, we got a whole bunch of information we got credits we got food we got basic goods luxury goods batteries which by the way is what the drones use so we need to make sure that we get a battery production facility up and running so that our drones don't run out of power that would be a disaster we've got sponge which is apparently a, a key resource uh, we've got plastic as well another key resource we've got tools iron stone quartz glass sand concrete all of these are the sort of specific building materials that we'll need for more advanced buildings electricity crude oil fuel and oxygen all things that we'll need to produce two residents 12 drones three influence points and we've got 98 happiness. Everybody is happy as Larry, which is what we, uh, which is what we like to see. Uh, right. So we have sort of got a little bit of space on this on this island. I can't zoom out and show you, but there is a little uh, mini map that we can toggle on, which is kind of nice. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got a, a large sort of plateau that we can that we can explore. We're currently sort of based at the southern end of it. Uh, we'll explore that uh, a little bit later on. Right, so there's a lot of buildings that we need to get up and running, and uh, I don't think that there's any reason that we shouldn't get these buildings up and running pretty much immediately. Uh, we've only got these blue ones to uh, to place at the moment, and we will try and... Um, we will try and do exactly that. Sponge collector, gatherer's place. Uh, we need to get a gatherer's place up and running in the first instance, right? So what did we say, what did we, say we needed to do? We needed to get a gatherer's place... Uh, which is going to allow us to get a whole variety of different foodstuffs. It's going to cost us 40 credits and 30 sponge. Uh, we also need to get a sponge collector. And the sponge collector efficiency is based on how much sponge is around the sponge collector. So I think something like that will be fine. We also need to get a oil platform, a fuel refinery, and a plastic factory as well. In order to get things, in order to get things going. I think we'll, we'll sort of let the game, uh, we'll let the game build... 
these two buildings for now and then we'll worry about um, we'll worry about the rest we'll also get rid of that mini map just to keep things just to keep things fresh anyway um we'll get to human habitation in a little bit but for now we need to get our production materials all sorted we've only got two humans we'll pick up more humans We'll be able to get way, 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 way more. Uh, but for now, we just need to get the basics sorted, and we need to make sure that our drones are being put to work. Now, whilst we're waiting for those um, buildings to be built, we should probably talk a little bit about uh, what else is going on around here. Now, I've turned on the grid view, turned on the... Um, turned on the overlay. Uh, the, the green stuff is, is fertile ground. Um, the orange stuff, the orange, the orange color, um, denotes oil, um, which is very, very handy in our case, because we're actually going to immediately queue up an oil platform. You see, we're not going to be able to build it, or well, we are going to be able to build it here, but the work efficiency is going to be 50%. We build it over here, boom, we're up to 100%. Also, note the fact that the oil platform specifically, and a couple of other types of buildings, have got all of these little circle things uh, around the edge of the uh, around the edge of the building. That is important because we are going to be getting a whole bunch of infrastructure uh, set up very, very shortly. And, uh, and that's going to be marvelous. Now, what's wrong with you? No sponge plant drone in building. Well, we can go and fix that. We'll go into additional panels here. Uh, there's a couple of different things that we can, that we can look at. That's just clicking on the, the subsurface base there, not important. Uh, research and the tech tree will actually start work off on the, the uh, tidal turbine here. It's going to cost us 20 credits and literally just take five days, which is like no time at all. And also 20 credits in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of about, you know, two and a half thousand, is pretty much nothing. Uh, we've got the log, that's useless. Um, we've got stock, which tells us uh, at a glance what we've got in stock, but I mean, I can look up the top if I need to need to do that. The jobs board. This is very, very handy indeed. And um, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to click on automatically assign workforce so that we don't really have to worry. Uh, but if we do need to come in here and make a little bit of a, you know, a sort of granular readjustment, maybe we want more, you know, carrier drones than we want electronics engineers for whatever reason, uh, we can do that. It's also worth noting, by the way, that there are certain jobs that um, worker drones can carry, or workers can carry out and drones can carry out. So, um... Yeah, it is worth it is worth uh, it is worth bearing in mind, but it doesn't particularly matter at the moment. It's denoted by drones, so drones, engineers, whatever. We'll get to that later, right? So as we can see, the drone is linked to the sponge collector. It's out collecting sponge. It's in a very sponge-rich area at the moment, so 125% efficiency. Uh, we can get specific upgrades. Uh, for example, if we wanted to get another another worker drone um, working in the sponge collector, we could you know, spend 50 credits and get an expansion, or we could production boost, whatever, or building radius. There's a whole bunch of things that we can do, which I think is, is very, very cool indeed. Uh, the gatherer is also looking marvelous, if I do indeed say so. 310 per year. I think we should be just fine. And again, if we need to expand, then we can expand. We can add some more capacity into there. Right. Okay. So we've got the oil, we've got the oil extraction uh, the oil extraction platform up and running. Research is just completed. Marvelous. Thank you very much, video game. Much appreciated. We'll actually get a uh, battery factory as well, because I did say that I needed to get a battery factory in order to replace the batteries that are consumed by my, my drones on a fairly regular basis. Anyway, the oil platform currently has an efficiency of zero because there's no way to get the oil out of the oil platform. Uh, I think what we want to do is we want to get it into a fuel refinery pretty much immediately. So the upkeep of the fuel refinery is powered by crude oil, and it produces 90 90 fuel per drone that we actually have working in here. So uh, let's get the fuel refinery pretty nearby, actually. No reason not to. We're going to have to remove a little bit of sponge in order to in order to do that. Um, but that's that's not too much. That's not too much of a problem. Anyway, uh, one of the really interesting things about this game is the infrastructure that we can build between buildings. Um, so, for example, the oil refinery is going to require a pipe. That's right, and it's going to be linked from one of these uh, one of these little slots into there. Beautiful. So, uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have the oil platform outputting uh, directly into the fuel refinery. Now, these pipes, I would say, are absolutely magical. You might even be able to see here that they, they have pipes, they have electricity wires, they have everything. This is like... This pipe is magic. It can transport absolutely everything. And um, I hope that you'll see what I mean in just a second. We also need to get a plastics factory. Now, the plastics factory requires sponge and also fuel as an upkeep cost. So we're actually going to... Where do I want to build it? I think I want to build it over, over here. Sure, let's not build too close. I've got plenty of space, so we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. The drones should be moving a whole bunch of materials over here. 
Don't pause. Don't prioritize. Just leave it as is. Thank you. Plastic, iron. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, I think, at the moment. I think we should have everything that we need. Albeit just. Just. We'll get there, though. Anyway, cool. Right, that's looking good. How many drones do we have available? Uh, we got a lot of drones available. We also need to get electricity. Uh, the gatherer and also the sponge collector. Neither of these actually requires electricity. However... Uh, the oil platform doesn't either, but something will require electricity soon. Mark my words. Also, research-wise, I think we've just finished... We just finished the battery factory. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Um, we'll get the... We'll get the auction generator next. The deco banner. A hologram panel that displays our faction banner. Improves our resident's satisfaction with the surrounding environment. That seems vitally important. So we'll probably prioritize that after uh, we get the deco banner. But the drone factory also seems pretty darn good. Uh, if you couldn't detect the note of facetiousness in, um, in my voice, then I do apologize. But I was not suggesting that, uh, that the deco banner was actually that important. Right. Um, let's stick it into four times speed. There's no real reason to hang around waiting for my drones to deliver all the stuff. When we can just fast forward and, uh, and skip to the next phase. Very, very exciting indeed. Uh, we do have the battery factory here. We got the tidal turbine that we've unlocked. What's this? Workers en route from HQ. Workers coming soon. Okay, marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Fuel refinery is up and running, by the way. We should start to accumulate a little bit of fuel, which is marvelous. We've got 90 production, which is great. Our research is completed yet again. Goodness gracious me, this is happening very, very fast. And I'm very, very happy. Now, um, one of the interesting things about this game is that you can't actually link... You can't actually link the fuel refinery uh, to the plastics factory. Well, you can, but you can't do it directly. So we can't actually build across like so. Building cannot have multiple pipe connections slash pipe sockets. That's fine. So what we actually need to do is, as I told, um, or as I alluded to earlier, uh, we're going to need to connect up this magical, this magical pipe, which carries literally everything. So now the pipe is carrying oil, crude oil, into the fuel refinery, and it's carrying fuel from the fuel refinery into the plastics factory. That's right. That's what's happening. Uh, it's bonkers. It's bonkers, but it's working. It's working. Anyway, um, it's marvelous. And that's going to give us 180 plastic per year, uh, which actually, I think, in the grand scheme of things, isn't too bad. And everything seems to be working mostly according to plan. Yes, marvelous. New arrivals. New people have arrived at your colony. New Atlantis HQ has sent them to assist with our daily tasks. We should put them to good use as soon as possible. Okay, that is cool. I will do that indeed, indeed, indeed I will. I presume they're just, yeah, they're just walking around at the moment. That is fine. Okay, um, why don't we sort out some human habitation? And this is where things start to get really, really, really funky. Um, we've got the opportunity to build a dome here. And the dome is the primary way, in this game anyway, that you, um, that you store humans. Sounds very nefarious, but it's not. Anyway, um, what is this going to cost us? 150 credits, uh, 80 plastic, 30 iron. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get that all. Let's get that all up and running. That's fine. Um, we can also, by the way, destroy some stuff around the map in order to get ourselves a little bit more plastic, which we may do at some point, but not a huge, not a huge issue. Uh, for us at the moment. So, um, the dome will require a couple of components. Um, one, of course, it will require oxygen. That is that is no surprise. The oxygen generator, which I have researched, will come in very, very handy here. Uh, it also requires fuel, um, which makes... which makes me uh, not apprehensive, but it does mean that we obviously need to get the pipeline to come all the way across here, which we're going to have to do, you know? That's the reality of the situation. No houses for people. I know, I know. Anyway, this is where things get very, very cool. Uh, now that we built a dome, we can actually toggle the dome slash ground view, which takes us right up into the dome and gives us another, another area where we can build dedicated buildings. So I don't know, but I presume that there's no water in this, in this area. We're going to build a couple of houses here. But we can basically build... What does this require? Literally credits and a little bit of plastic? Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, we can build a whole bunch of, of infrastructure here. Public buildings as well. Clinic, look at that. I mean, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff. Restaurants, that's kind of cool. Fine production buildings. Beautification. Uh, clear building resources, that's not necessary. Um, right, yeah, so I presume people can just walk around in here. I'm just guessing, though. Where's, where's the people? Let's go into eight times speed. We'll wait until... How did fish... <laughs> okay, fish fish just fish just got into the dome. Aha! 
There we go. Marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Inhabitants are missing oxygen. Increase oxygen production. Inhabitants are cold. Increase fuel production. Yeah, I'm going to do both of those things, and we're going to do both of those things um, pretty darn quickly, actually. Right, so we'll go get some We'll go get some pipe, and we'll see if we can just try and build a big old pipe connection across, across here. Uh, it's not going to be difficult. It is going to be a bit ugly, but this is why I've tried to leave a few gaps in between all of the buildings that I'm, that I'm building. There we go. Right onto the corner there. Marvelous. What do you need? You're missing electricity. That's actually completely fine. That's actually completely fine because we've already got uh, some tidal turbines that I've been that I've been waiting to deploy for just this reason. And we'll go here, connect that up, and connect that up over there. Okay, a little bit of an overshoot on the on the pipe there, but I don't think that that's necessarily a, a big deal. We still need oxygen. But we shall get there very, very, very shortly indeed. Okay, so far so good. We got four. We got four humans. They seem happy. I think we got two empty houses, so we can accommodate some more. We can accommodate some more humans if we need to in a pinch. Uh, right. How's the research coming? Oil generators done. Battery factories done. Oil Imperium fuel refinery in proximity of oil platform it gains 10% production bonus. That's probably worth uh, researching. But let's get the let's get the drone factory first. Yeah, that to me seems like a a more pressing priority. Um, we're doing okay for plastic, but I think I might do clear buildings and resources, and then clean up this area here because there's a little bit of plastic. I, I think there's going to be yeah. I mean, there's sponge over there that we can get rid of. I don't think that we can demolish pipes. Just gather all resources. Yeah. It's going to give us some iron. That's going to be handy to do. Let's do that. Yeah, so there's resources all around the place that we can that we can pick up on a sort of short-term basis just to sort of help us get started, I think. Um, we'll do it. There's no reason not to. And then we'll also see if we can try and get some more, uh, some more stuff. But I think, to be honest, for the plastic factory at the moment to be doing what it's doing, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, that is... That is quite... That is quite nice. Monthly produced, 500. Monthly used, 163. Sure. That may include new pickups or, you know, short-term short term uses like building building new buildings, etc. But that's okay. Right. Have we got all of our production buildings here? Um, Fisherman's Hub. The operational center for our fishing exports. Produces small fish. Operated by Fisherman Drone. And the upkeep is 100 sponge per drone. So that might be nice. Research has just been completed, by the way, which means that we've unlocked the drone factory. Upkeep, 60 credits, plastic, and electricity. I mean, that, to me, seems like a pretty darn good deal. Build that there. We are going to have to remove a bit of sponge to build this, but I actually think that's fine. There we go. Let's get that linked into the system. And let's continue with our research. There's no reason that we shouldn't be researching as long as we have as long as we have cash. Now, uh, the word, uh, the thing to bear in mind, let's go for oil imperium combo. Um, the, the thing to bear in mind is that credits are basically um, are basically taxes, right? Like we basically just collect taxes. And uh, that's why it's so absolutely mission critical. Uh, there we go, toggle dome view on, that we have, that we have these houses. Look at that, 440 bucks per year. 440 bucks per year. Very, very important. Uh, it is worth noting, by the way, that we can also upgrade all of the individual buildings in the in the dome, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm interested in exploring that. I'm just interested in general, to be honest, in getting in getting some upgrades. Also, I need to get the battery factory, which I have not yet built. Battery factory. Let's build it over here. Yeah, always trying to make sure that I keep at least a little space between the buildings because then that way we're going to be able to squeeze a pipe in if we need to. There we go. Marvelous. Don't think that we're going to have any shortage of resources in the short term. Iron. Oh, that's stone. Yeah, we, we don't have any iron. I did, uh... I did think there was perhaps some iron around. I think there is iron that we can gather on a short term basis. Yeah, there we go. There's iron. Is that iron or is that stone? Well, that does look like stone, actually, now that I look at it. That's a whole bunch of sponge. That's a whole bunch of sponge. Is there iron somewhere? There might not be iron. There might not be iron. More sponge. That looks like plastic to me. Gather stone, iron, and plastic. 
That's plastic over there. Yeah, I mean, any... That's more stone. I don't need more stone. I'm, I'm good for stone right now, video game. Good for stone. Uh, we may have to... We may have to wait a we have to we may have to wait a little bit before before getting iron. Unless there's some massive trove of iron that I'm that I'm missing. Is it a problem? Probably not. Oh, we've got we got iron from something. We got iron from something, whether it was stone or whether it was from plastic, a byproduct of, of perhaps either one of those things. Who knows? We got it. Anyway, the drone factory. Uh, a new wave of drones has arrived to our colony. Okay, drone three, and then it says drone 12 in the pop-up. <laughs> Don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess it's three drones, because now I've got 15. Anyway, the drone factory is currently um, working away. It says it's going to produce six drones a year. I think that's fine. Upkeep minus 20. You know what? I think I'm going to go for the optimization boost. Production plus 30. Let's go for that as well. Why not? Optimization two. Sure, why not? We need tools. We need tools in order to progress forward. Okay. Anyway, um, speaking of tools, let's let's work in let's work away uh, on our research. Oil Imperium combo. We'll investigate that in just a second. Sea Hunter's Lodge underwater field grants us the ability to build agricultural surfaces that produce seaweed and sea cucumbers. Plastic factory in proximity of drone factory gains 10% production bonus. I'll take that. Now these things, the Oil Imperium combos, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can. We can't deploy it as a directive here. Is it just a directive that we just get? Is literally just a directive that we get? Oh wow, it's it's colony wide. It's not even something that we need to apply at the um, at the subsurface base. That's cool. I thought it was a directive, but apparently not. That's marvelous. Well, that's even better. That's even better for us because I don't think there's any cost to doing that research, other than of course the you know the the credits uh, that we have to that we have to endure. Uh, speaking of credits, is everybody fine in the everybody fine in the dome? Yeah, I mean, there is literally nothing else that I can build in this dome at the moment. I can't even beautify. I can't do anything. We can insulate. We can upgrade to a house if we get the research done. Um, so literally the only thing that we can do in, in, in house world is is do some, do some insulation upgrades. And that seems a bit daft. Anyway, the battery factory, very important. Drone consumption is, um, yeah, monthly use is 12. And then production is 180 per year. So you do the maths on that. I mean, we're producing more than 12 per month, which is what we use, which is very, very important. Right, plastification combo, that's brilliant. Uh, underwater field, clothes, shop, uh, subsurface base two. Property tax allows us to apply residential taxes that provide a weekly increase of one credit per house. Let's go for underwater field. Absolutely. I don't believe there is any way that we can speed up our research. If there is, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, income, 1,800 income per year. Subsurface base income. Okay, so we have, yeah, we've got a base, a base level of income per year of 1,000, which is quite nice. What do you need? Missing plastic. Uh, that shouldn't be the case. We should have plastic. We should have plenty of plastic. I mean, we can, we can make more if we need to. How's the sponge collector doing? expand the radius. There's no reason to expand the radius because I think 125% is the is the maximum anyway. I'll take another production bonus. Fully upgraded. Uh, I'll take another another expansion. There we go. Uh, building radius. I mean, sure, we'll do a building radius, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's it's not going to make a it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Anyway, the production is is better on on sponges now, which is marvelous. And plastic, I presume is still no, it's not being collected. It's actually fully collected. We've got some iron over here. Oh, marvelous. Okay, so we do have iron. We do have iron deposits. That looks mightily like the deposit I picked up from over there. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Is that all the buildings that I've got? I don't have the fisherman's hub. I don't have the fisherman's hub, do I? No, let's get the fisherman's hub. Let's build it. What's the upkeep? Upkeep is 100 sponge per year. Let's go... Let's go there, sure. And then let's go depot. Carriers to do their jobs effectively. Do I need to get the depot? I'm not sure that I really do. The warehouse is worth considering. Drone factory we've already got. Sea Hunters is next up in the research queue, or will be soon. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could build a, build a depot, I suppose, if we really wanted to. 
Hardly seems hardly seems like a worthwhile investment of time, effort, or energy, though. Credits and sponge in order to build this. Yeah, we do really need more. We do really need more sponge, don't we? We're quite low on the old, quite low on the old sponge. Plastics we're doing, we're doing not too badly for. Uh, let's continue to. Let's continue to try and get rid of these deposits that are sort of around the map. That's fine. There's nothing in the abyss. Look at the abyss, by the way. Look at the abyss. It's awful. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. Right. Okay, we're going to get 140 small fish per year. Why do we need 140 small fish? Your guess is as good as mine. But we've got them, which is marvelous. Right, research-wise, we're done. Uh, underwater field, we've done it. Closed shops, raw sea food budgeting. Global improvement that reduces the consumption of seaweed, oyster, mussels, sea snails, small fish, crab, shark, sea cucumber, scallop. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. 110 credits in order to do that. Sea Hunter's Lodge or Closed Shop? Property tax. Let's go property tax first. Property tax first because I'm not running low on cash, but in order to continue, in order to continue my, um, my mission of just, you know, researching as fast as we possibly can, then let's, let's do that. Um, I guess the gatherers... Ooh, HQ sending us financial help. Oh, marvelous. 800 bucks. Well, I don't particularly mind about increasing taxes if you're gonna be that generous to me, uh, video game. That's that's very, very, very good of you. Um, we also need to grab ourselves... Where is it? The... Public buildings, food production. Yeah, the sea field. The underwater field. Right. Maybe down here? Fertility is at 100%. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? It's just going to take us uh, a little bit of plastic to do. Plus, we've got the fisherman's hub nearby here, which is marvelous. Very, very happy with that. I do need to check on the drone list, the, dr the jobs board. We've got seven drones that are currently available. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we've got three workers that are currently available. Is that what do we what do we have our worker working on? I didn't think that we had a worker working on anything. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Right, um, workers en route from HQ assign Mari culture. Oh, I guess that's the technical term for underwater agriculture. Right, do we want to make seaweed? Ooh, yes, thank you. I'll take some new arrivals. Um, do we want to make seaweed or do we want to grow sea cucumber? Seaweed, I guess. Then sea cucumber? Why not? Right, upkeep is 245 a year. That's quite a lot. But the production is 147 seaweed per year. Okay. Right, income. Current month. Uh, yeah, we've got loads. Loads and loads and loads. We're making loads and loads and loads of money. Right, uh, we also need to go back upstairs and see if we can try and build some more houses. Cool. Just costs plastic, but plastic does, to be fair, um, you know, it's not unlimited. We should probably, we should probably expand our plastics factory. Sure, reduce upkeep, expand. There we go. Cool, 400 plastic. Oh, marvelous. No space in stock. No space in stock for what? For plastic? I presume it's for plastic. Right, why is the efficiency? Lack of resources in the pipe network. Right, so is it fuel? Upkeep is 96 fuel, and then production is 96 fuel. Right, well, that's that's fine. There's no issues with that at all. Let's expand... Let's expand this as much as we possibly can. There we go. Level 3 optimization. Marvelous. Look at that. We're actually using the same, if not a little bit less crude oil, in order to make even more production, which is great. Right, um, let's get ourselves a depot. Get ourselves a depot. We'll stick it down over here somewhere. Ooh, that's a terrible place to do it, actually. Cancel gathering. Hold on, which is it? Demolish buildings. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Can I cancel? Ooh. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, so yeah, we we ditch a bit of 
we ditch a bit of, bit of sponge there, but thankfully we've still got 125% of the sponge uh, collection collection bonus, which is marvelous. Okay, let's stick it down, stick the depot down over here instead. Try not to destroy too much of the native sponge, although I seem to be destroying more and more and more every time I look at placing a new building. Anyway, things are looking very, very good at the moment. Have I finished my research? We did the property tax thing. Marvelous. Let's do the clothes, clothes shop. We actually researched like so darn quickly here. Can't add anything to the queue, which is worth noting. House 2, subsurface base 2. Yeah, let's... Upgraded center, 2,000 additional credits per year. Have a store capacity of 1,500. Increase our maximum influence points to 5. It's very, very cool. Uh, yeah, that's very, very nice indeed. Right, open stock panel. Do I care about that? No, I do not. But we've got a whole bunch of extra storage capacity, and that is, that is marvelous. Wow, that closed shop was marvelously quick. I mean, we are in like 8 times speed, but that's fine. Right, let's go upstairs and see what we've got going on. Uh, more drones. I think I'm producing plenty of my own drones video game, but that's that's fine if you want to send me more. Find production buildings. Right, what does the closed shop actually require? Also, what the heck is that? Is that what the drones arrived in? That's pretty darn cool, that underwater spacecraft thing. Right, upkeep, credits, electricity, plastic. Produces clothes uh, per year. Marvelous. Okay, probably want to be a little bit careful about what I'm building. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Where are you going? You you sucked resources out of... Oh, I see. You're... Wait, what? I got a craft with this. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess the depot is... I guess the drones... I guess they transport it via underwater submarine thing. Right, what's the issue? We're missing electricity. That is absolutely to be anticipated. I feel like I haven't uh, upgraded the electricity grid in a while. Let's go here, here, and here. Cool. And we'll unpause and get... Look at how it all comes together. Marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Okay, right. I didn't realize that I owned a submarine, but I'm I'm happy that I do. Right, have we done the next level of research? We have done the next level of research. Wowzers. Gatherers, prosperity, energy production. Increases the production of energy resources by 10%. House 2, trade port. I think I actually kind of just want to press on up the main tree, because there's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff there. Um, we don't have any... Oh, no, tell a lie. We do have a directive. That's cool. It's going to cost me influence, but it's going to gain me credits. I guess we'll do it. Why not? I'm not exactly swimming in credits. Haha, <laughs> swimming in credits, you get it? It's a joke because it's we're underwater right now. Swimming in credits. God, tough crowd, eh? Okay. Uh, Ease navigation. We can get a sand road, but we can't get a sand road because it's not available in um, the alpha test. We've got the navigation sign. But again, we can't do that until we've researched it. So, you know, no biggie on that front. We're like absolutely plowing through this research. I'm gonna get an I'm gonna get the, the houses upgraded. Allows us to build a facility that maintains submarine vessels. I am super interested in submarines. Of all of the different ways of of getting around, I think I would love to get around in a submarine. They uh, without a doubt, they're my favorite type of transportation. Uh, maybe maybe aircraft. Aircraft are pretty cool too, but I mean, come on, submarine? I'd love to be able to travel to work in a submarine. That would be pretty cool. Only if it's a short journey, though. I mean, if it's a long, if it's a long stay, like like we're having to do in Aquatico, I feel like that might become a little bit more nauseating and terrifying. Right. Uh, okay. We'll build a trade port, but let's go a shrine. Small, sac sacral. Is that supposed to be sacred? S satisfies the resident's spiritual needs. Sacral. Sacral building. Is that a fr is that a phrase? Uh, enable drone networks to assist in digital banking services. That sounds kind of great. Transport fever. Enables an advanced mode of drone traffic regulation, causing them to be 10% faster. Man, I love all these little bonuses. Um, I'm not going to take any of them, though, because we can come back and deal with that if we need to. Uh, right, so what's this? Public buildings. Trade port, yes. Establishes and maintains submarine trade routes with underwater with other underwater localities. Right. I mean, this thing is bleeding huge. Okay, let's build it over here then. 
Right. I've never known such a such a large building. But that's fine. Uh, we don't have the ability to make tools yet, but that would be that would be good. That would be good. I have no idea, by the way, what our what this submarine is doing. It seems to be wasting it seems to be wasting an incredibly large amount of resources. We've got 1,300 uh, and six units out of 2,500, so that's good. At least we're utilizing it, but it does seem a bit daft. Right, we got the iron mine. We'll go to the iron mine. Tool factory. Oh, look at that. Medium dome. I like the idea of that. Allows the founding of corporate headquarters that aid our economy. Let's go for that. Why not? Why not? Can't get the medium dome. Got that already. The iron mine. Yeah. Um... So is this the... I guess this is the iron ore area. The iron ore extraction belt. I presume there's also going to be one over here. What do we need in order to make it work? Upkeep is fuel. So it would make sense if it's in proximity to the fuel... Uh, to the fuel pipe. That makes... That makes perfect sense. Turn that grid off. Uh, yeah. Or rich area. There we go. Marvelous. Okay, will we have enough fuel to maintain the plastics factory or the... Yeah, the, it is the plastics factory. So plastics factory and then also the... Also the dome as well. Let's have a little look. So fuel production is 234. Consumption is 209. I would wager... Oh, actually, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Maybe that 209 figure is... Um, already includes what we've what we've got right uh why is this a problem low food st low food in stock okay let's get uh let's get an expansion big baskets production bonus yep i'll take that big baskets big baskets fully upgraded marvelous so quantity is now up to 900 and 902 per year um i don't think the seaweed has fixed itself yet i, I don't think it's fully grown we're continuing to produce 140 small fish, though, so that's pretty great. I presume that is for food, but again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it goes directly into the to the food stock, or maybe they release them into the ocean. That sounds like a really stupid thing to say. They probably don't just release the food that they've grown uh, into the ocean. They probably add it to the food stock, uh, the food pile. Now that I think about it, that's that's probably what they do. Anyway, um, trade company. Yeah, I don't know how we'll form a trade company, but we'll deal with that in a second. Furniture factory, clinic. Immigration incentive. Uh, we'll get a medium dome, and then we'll get a tool factory. Yeah, we'll do that in a sec. Right, so, trade company. Where is that? Public building? Expedition house? Is a trade company a specific building, or is it a... Uh, it might even be... It might even be an option. Might even be an option in the trade port. Right, trade capacity is 200. Arrival time every 40 days. We need tools in order to... Tools in order to upgrade. Right, go back to research. What does this say? Allows the founding of our corporate... Of our corporate headquarters. Right, well, there's not something we can do there. Uh, in the base. What am I missing? Not food production, not security. Public building, expedition house, rescue center, trade port. We've already got the trade port. Oh, maybe it's um, maybe it's a dome building. Oh, we can build that big dome actually. Build the tool factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're going we're going we're going here. Right, public buildings. It is in here. Okay, an office contributing to the commercial and economical activities of the colony set up by cell thresholds, um, and your office will automatically take care of the trades for you. Very very cool indeed. Okay, well we'll we'll do this. I don't think that I've unlocked any other buildings, actually, since I last tell a lie. I've unlocked the house level twos. Clothes shop, we've already got. Beautification, no such thing. How many houses do we have? Total houses, eight, empty four. Yeah, so we've got seven adults. We've got four families. We've got four families, so, I mean, that's that's fine. There's no real incentive to, to build any bigger houses at the moment. Also, I think we're okay for food. Mostly it seems like, um, mostly it seems like we're in, in need of more cash. Yeah, should we, should we buy anything? I don't think that we really need to buy anything, to be honest. I mean, getting tools might be kind of handy. 
getting tools might be handy for a few buildings, but I mean, honestly, more than anything, not that bothered. Um, we'll go back into research real quick because we want to maintain we want to maintain forward momentum at all times. Uh, but yeah, we go in here. Oh, I see. We need to set up. We need to set up. Um, we need to set up like cell orders. I mean, I presume we're making more plastic. Well, I presume we're making more plastic. Well, we seem to be using more plastic than we're than we're cons uh, than we're we're producing. Monthly produced, monthly used. Okay, I mean, why don't we try and sell clothes, right? Pause a second. Right, clothes. Let's go. Increase amount to sell. Trade that there. Then can I go back into here? Okay, well, we can't... Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't just show up. Oh, pipe is leaking? Pipe is leaking. Repair socket. There we go. And also research is completed. Uh, tool factory and furniture factory. We'll get that. Decoration factory, clinic, interior combo, energy budgeting. Yeah, there's a lot of... Oh, bollocks. I clicked, I clicked steel world combo. Tool factory and proximity of iron mine gain 10% production bonus. Well, that's great. Happy days. Uh, right, what other buildings can I build? Furniture factory and a tool factory. See, here's the thing. Uh, we're now getting into the territory of if we wanted to build a tool factory, which is very, very good, very useful, um, then we're not going to have the... Well, we're going to have the credits to maintain it, but pretty much everything else we're going to struggle to... struggle to manage. Right, that goes in there. Furniture factory. New people have arrived. Marvelous. Right, furniture factory and that. Battery factory, we've got drone factory, iron mine. We're fine on... Fine on all fronts there. Uh, although I guarantee you when I connect up this, when I connect up this pipe, the video game is going to start being upset with me. Yeah, it's going to start being upset with me because we're going to require more fuel. Yeah, I knew it to be, I knew it to be true. I knew it to be true. I did. However, I think, well, well we could get a production bonus in the fuel refinery. That's definitely worth, that's definitely worth considering. I think we're going to get a production boost here. It's going to take us up to 144. I think we're going to try building ourselves another fuel refinery. Yeah, another fuel refinery. And you know what? We'll build ourselves another oil platform as well. Even though I would ideally prefer just to stick with one. I feel like I'm probably wasting quite a large number of workers on this whole this whole shebang but we need fuel we need fuel and it's only gonna the need is only gonna increase but at least if we've got tools we're gonna be able to make some pretty imperative upgrades to uh to all of our infrastructure which is which is pretty darn good pretty darn good if i do indeed say so myself right research wise God, i mean research is just happening too darn fast clinic basic medical center water filter provides drinkable water are you telling me that my population haven't been drinking drinkable water this entire time let's get clinic and then let's get expedition house uh because there's this expedition map mission that i would very very much like to do and yet we uh we don't have the ability to do it already up to four tools so clearly it's working marvelous am i losing more credits oh my goodness I'm, yeah, I'm losing a lot of, I'm losing a lot of credits. Losing a lot of credits. Do we have any more edicts that we can put into place? Or directives, I should say, in, as they're referred to in this game? Not particularly. No big deal. Right, we'll get the clinic and then we're immediately going to go into the expedition house. Right, again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of optimizations that we can make here. What do you need? You need 30 tools? Ah, Okay. Well, the tool factory is is on its way. Uh, we also need plastic. Right, the plastic factory. Upkeep minus 40, production plus 70. I'll take production plus 70, sure. This is what tools are useful for. They're really, really good. It's a production boost, by the way, that doesn't actually use any additional, any additional resources just better. Food diversity. Diverse food sources equal healthier residents. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. 
HQ is sending us 400 plastic. Well, hey, that's marvelous. Yoink that. Yoink that. Yoink that. Yoink that. Anything else? Not really, I don't think. Not nearby, anyway. But why not, I suppose? Treat myself to a, an unlimited amount of plastic. It's pretty good. Uh, we do need to be careful that we don't go over the over the cap. Ooh, what's happening here? We're missing fuel? Really? Ah, it's broken. Hold on. Repair socket. There we go. That's uh, That was worrying for a moment there, but that's okay. Right. Do I need to upgrade the inventory space? Uh, how do I open the stock panel here? Yeah. Uh, we got plenty. We got plenty of space. We got plenty of space. We got another thousand units or so that we can... That we can um, that we can add if we need to. Yeah, I'm not too I'm not too worried about that at all. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing for tools? We need 30 tools. We're getting there. We're getting there. I need more plastic, so I'm gonna get the optimization boost. Eh, that doesn't actually make much of a difference. There is the production boost that we can get for the uh, for the oil rig, but again, I'm not super worried about that. How are we doing drone wise? Got eight drones available. That is fine. That is fine in my books. We've almost certainly completed research like about a billion years ago that I just haven't. Allows the construction of holding pens for tuna prey. Union's deal allows the resourceful syndication of our active workers, resulting in the voluntary 10% decrease in their salaries. Solar plant. Um, let's get the subsea base. Let's get navigation as well. We'll go rescue center. Uh, that'll be cool. We can get a bigger dome as well. I'm going to need to get one of those soon. Trade port. We go to trade ports. Furniture factory, food production, security buildings, infrastructure. Where's the expedition point? You have to build an expedition house. If I had to guess then, does that mean that it's in here? Housing. Public buildings. Clinic. We can get a clinic. He says full of optimism that he has enough space to build a clinic. He does not. Restaurants, no. Fine production buildings. Beautification. Okay, I have no idea where the expedition house is. Let's go, um, let's go build a brand new dome. Oh my lordy. It's huge. I mean, it's got a tiny, tiny footprint, but it's absolutely massive. It's absolutely massive. Dome is in collision with other dome. Dome is in collision with ground level, level obstacles. just so bleeding big. 120 plastic and 50 iron. Thank goodness we've got all of that. Right, research. Rescue center. Uh, we need to do cages and then we need to do solar plant. Yeah, right. So still no sign of this rescue center. Survivors on the surface. Oh, that'd be cool if we could get more people. What, is it, what does it actually require? It requires oxygen and electricity as an upkeep. Well, um, I guess, you know, let's thematically keep things sort of somewhat together, he says, as he builds a dome in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, where's this expedition building? Expedition house. Not available in the alpha test. Oh, video game, what a jabate. What a, what a filthy, filthy jabate. Oh, I was so excited for, so excited for expeditioning. Alas, my hopes have been dashed upon the rocks. The underwater rocks. Right, research completed. Good. Subsurface base 3 is going to come soon. Solar plant. It would be nice, actually, if we had some more opportunity to get uh, to get electricity. Right, money-wise, we're spending so much money. We're spending so much money. But that's that being said, it's actually not the end of the world. We can still sell... I mean, we can sell a whole bunch of our clothes if we need to. Sell them all. Sure. Sell them all. Literally don't care. Furniture as well. What is this going to cost us? 70 plastic per year, 60 fuel. Uh, can I optimize this, please? Yeah, I'd like to optimize that. Optimize again. Anything that reduces the cost of, of fuel is, is kind of nice. And in fact, it saves us a whole bunch of... It saves us a whole bunch of resources, really. I'll take a production boost here, and I'll take a production boost again. Nice. Research is continuing to be completed. New people have arrived at your colony. Marvelous. Let's go subsurface base level 3. Subsurface base 2. 
Nice. Okay. Right, so we've got the... Oh, we need oxygen to you. Do you not have oxygen? Let's do production boost. There we go. And that's apparently good enough. We need to get this... Oh my lordy. Look at how freaking cool this looks. It's very, very cool. There is no upkeep over here yet, but as soon as I as soon as I connect it up to the network, it's gonna make everything go like absolutely wild. Anyway. Uh status, travel to destination. Does this just auto-collect people for us? That's great if it is. That's great if it's the case. That's really, really good. Searching for survivors. Okay, so I see it's got a multiple sort of phase uh system. Right, let's go infrastructure. Let's do let's do what I've been dreading. Let's connect it up. Okay. Then let's go into one of these domes. Man, it's actually so freaking large. How cool is that? It's such a great... Such a great concept. Build the clinic in there. I presume we can just about manage to afford that. House level twos. Restaurants, fine production buildings, beautification. Yeah, we don't really need to build anything else. The only thing that I'm really worried about is my credit situation. Subsurface base level three has officially been activated, which is marvelous. Uh, that might very well just save my bacon. I think it expanded, actually, visually as well, which is kind of nice. Quartz mine, quarry, underwater field, glass works. Uh, let's go... I mean, we need to get both of these anyway. We might as well... We might as well go. It is taking longer and longer to research uh, anything, but that's kind of to be anticipated, given that we're in... Well, I don't know if it's the late game. The medium game. Resources missing oxygen. Right, we're going to try and produce more. Produce more with less. I like that. I like that. I honestly like upgrading the stuff. It's very, very cool. Right, so consumption of oxygen is 148. Production is 160. It's technically possible, but hey-ho. Right, mission organized by the rescue center was a success. Survivors have been brought back to the colony. How many? How many survivors were brought back to the colony? I wasn't really paying attention. I've got to be honest. Wasn't entirely paying attention. That is technically my bad, but that's that's okay. Right, so furniture-wise, we're making furniture. Happy days. Uh, what are we going to do with our furniture? I have no idea. Research has just been completed. Uh, we, I suppose we could sell our furniture. Oh, there's a navigation sign as well. Eases navigation, increases the speed of mechanical units. I mean, it's not like this is a big area, to be honest, is it? I mean, it could be a big area if we expanded it sort of along along this area. But, I mean, just... I feel like people shouldn't really complain about having a navigation uh, sign. Because there's not, not that many. Um, 1,632. Also, I'm noting that our food is in a little bit of a dicey place at the moment. It's not exactly ideal. Fisherman's hub. And we also need to get more diverse, yeah, types of food, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, here's the problem. I have cages, right? I have cages. What is this? Solar plants. Quartz mine. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a cage, yeah. Where can... Where the hell do you build a cage? In the, in the middle of nowhere, apparently. Minimum cage size, 16 by 16. Oh, bleeding heck. Stretch the cage over the abyss. I hate that. I actually hate that. That <laughs> looks so bad, doesn't it? Well, I don't hate it. I just hate... I hate the abyss. No, oh my god. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, is that a level 2... Is that a level 2 food source? Tuna is a level 1 food source. How is that the case? I will try and diversify. I'll try and diversify my food types, but... I gotta be honest, in the list of priorities that I have, it, it's not high up there. Right, let's continue. Let's continue up. Um, yeah. Scallops and mussels in the underwater fields. Not that bothered. Quarry and the quartz mine. Let's get both of those. Yeah, this is the ore area, so we'll go in here. It's big. It's big. It's big. 
91% efficiency, 92%, 91%. Sure, that'll be okay. Quarry. That's the regular quarry. Uh, no, we can just build normally. Quartz mine. Quartz mine goes in there. Marvelous. Furniture factory, tool factory. We've got it. Sea Hunter's Lodge. Oh, yeah, I don't have the Sea Hunter's Lodge. Maybe that would help me with um, diverse, you know, food types or whatever. Not sure I'm really that bothered, to be honest. People are just going to have to... Oh, God, pipeline's not working. That's a big old problem. Assign fish to the cage. Tuna. My God, look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, I see. We, we put our own tuna in there. Or do we have to... Oh, do we bait them? Do we bait the tuna or do, the tuna, do they grow from the larva sort of thing? I don't know. Anyway, we got two more We got two more people here. That's, that's marvelous. What do we need? We need more oxygen. I mean, this was always bound to be the case. I think we have pretty much, I mean, pushed up right up against the limit of what our oxygen system can accommodate. I have to get another one. The good news is, is that our building capacity has been pretty much, pretty much uninterrupted, to be honest. I think we're okay for houses at the moment. Yeah, people need more oxygen. We'll get more oxygen in just a second. Absolutely no issues there. We've got plenty of drones. 30 drones seems to be absolutely fine. We've got very few edicts. We've got nothing to worry about in terms of money. We're doing research faster than I can really uh, keep up with. School? Let's go school. We're going to need to do school, warehouse, house, house three. Uh, jewelry store, electronics factory. This is an alpha, by the way. I don't know how much stuff is actually available, but I mean, this this research list keeps on going. Subsurface base five, missile launcher. I mean, concert hall. I mean, geez, Louise. We'll accept the new arrivals, of course we will. Uh, let's do production bonus, production bonus, optimization, optimization, and then we'll wait until we get more tools for the oxygen generator. Um, we will toggle up here, and we will go housing, house two. There we go. What do we need for all these? Uh, iron, plastic, that's it. And we're missing fuel. Um, that's actually not the end of the world. We're going to go production boost. That will probably get us enough fuel, I say that. Requirement is three is 461. Yeah, so is there where, where did our where did our issue with fuel come from? Missing connection to pipe network. Oh, we need electricity, okay. That's fine. We'll do that. That's why we leave a hole in the uh, in the area. Right. Electricity and oxygen. You're missing electricity. Let's get a solar panel power thing. Not a tidal turbine. Also, what's that? That's the glassworks. We'll build the glassworks in a second. Nice. We'll build another tidal turbine in here. Might as well. Might as well. And we'll go infrastructure this. Cool. Okay, so why on earth is fuel production not where it needs to be? Well, we can get more production boosts, and I will get more production boosts. I'm using a lot of tools as well. Why am I using so many tools? Production is at 75%, and that's because of fuel. Right, so we fix the fuel, we get the we get the tools. Yeah, but they're being used for something. I don't know what they're being used for. I presume it's like the quarry? Yeah, it's the quarry. Let's optimize... Optimize the quarry. In fact, you know what? Let's pause both the quarry and the quartz quarry. Yeah, we don't need either of these things right now. The quartz is obviously going to be useful for glass and whatnot, but, like, let's... Let's not worry about that. Right, we got tuna. It's costing us an absolute ton. Let's get an expansion to the fisherman's hub. Let's get a production boost to the fisherman's hub as well. There we go. Solar panel is away. Marvelous. Um, we need a lot more plastic, and we have almost no fuel to deal with it. Right, we'll do a production boost. 
production boost there and can i actually collect some more plastic monthly produced monthly used yeah but that includes that includes monthly use of uh i think that includes first time you know first time buildings building building buildings as opposed to just the maintenance costs right take the iron take the stone still on the lookout for plastic hq if hq could send me a could send me a little plastic thing right now that'd be to be quite handy there we go scouring the seafloor for anything that might be of value it's probably going to take my drones a fairly long time to get uh to get this all sorted but to be fair i mean that's gonna it's gonna keep us going for about a billion years i did say that last time i think but Just literally get every single pile Okay, good, 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 good. That's got to be most of it, right? I'm, I'm sure that's most of it. Right, that's, that's fine. That's fine for now. So, in the meantime, let's get production three. Expansion. Marvelous. We need more crude oil, apparently. No, no oil rig drone in building. Right. Why is that the case? We need more drones. Is that is that it? The drone factory is drone factory is pretty efficient and pretty pretty production boosted. Uh, it might just be because we've got so many so many drones that are uh, that are going around doing nonsense and picking up picking up random stuff. Right, production boost from plastic. Anything else here? Production boost from plastic. Again, plastic is really what we need more than anything else. Yeah, 33 drones. 81%. I mean, it's not terrible, is it? I mean, it's literally just fuel that we need. Well, fuel and a little bit of food. Fuel and a little bit of food. I suppose we could go into the jobs board manually and sort of tweak things ever so slightly. Fuel refinery drone, miner drone. What are we mining? Don't automatically assign... Actually, no, I will, yeah, automatically assign, but we'll close, we'll close the iron mine temporarily. There's absolutely no reason to, to deal with that for now. I get a production boost over here. Production boost that. Is that going to help? 168? Not quite enough to deal with both, to deal with both of these, but that's fine. Right, so that's going to allow... Production boost plus fifty percent. Nice. Okay, is that us back on? That's us back on on level footing. Yeah, right. No food in stock. I get it. That's a big old problem. The gatherer's place. There's only one gatherer drone. That is part of the issue. The other part of the issue is that we've got tuna here. I have absolutely no idea how long it takes for tuna to become fully fully grown into big fish, but I feel like it's probably quite a long time relative to the fact that I haven't done anything with it. Also, I haven't researched anything in about 12 years at this point. House 3, warehouse. I mean, we'll get both of them. Rescue mission was a success. Marvelous to note. We do kind of have, like, a tremendous number of residents relative to the number of drones that we've got. Uh, also, our batteries are, are out. Like, we haven't even talked about that. Production boost, production boost again. Yeah, so that's good. But the upkeep is, is of course, plastic. We're making plastic. We're just not making it at, a, at an appropriately quick speed. Also, furniture. I mean, do we really need furniture at a time like this? I feel like the answer to that is no. The answer to that is definitely no. Uh, there's probably the opportunity... Oh, I tell you what. We could just buy. We could just buy stuff, right? I mean, we got plenty of money. Muscles. Oh, I see. I see. We need to... Sure. We'll buy 200 plastic. We'll buy 200 plastic. We'll wait for the trade ship to arrive, and then we'll buy another another 200 plastic. Or we'll buy uh, 200 food, should I say. Yeah. 
Low food in stock. I know. I know. But we're getting there. We're getting there. And whenever the tuna, whenever the tuna comes good, feeding the fishes and waiting for them to grow. Whenever that eventually happens, we are going to be in, we're going to be in, in, in fish heaven. Well, the fishes are going to be in heaven. Um, and the, the people are going to be in people heaven because they're going to enjoy a, a nice tasty meal. Uh, yeah, number of drones that we have. I feel like the drones need a production boost. This is, I mean, it's just like, up, it's taking an appallingly long time. Everything needs to be upgraded as much as we possibly can, as far as I'm aware. There's no real reason not to. I presume my drones are still doing a bunch of collection. Start producing basic goods. Build clothes. Uh, we are producing basic goods. But I suspect that people probably care slightly more about getting fed than they do about, you know, basic goods. Pipe is leaking. Repair that. Costs two credits. And food diversity is still very, very low. Yeah, that's kind of to be anticipated. Kind of to be anticipated. Lots of drones hanging around, which makes me think that they've maybe finished all of their collection expeditions. But that's fine. Research completed yet again. And we're almost up to the... Electricity area. Also, where does the ship come from? Do we see the ship uh, arrive? Oh. Don't know what's happening with this little animation here. Okay. Don't, uh, don't quite know what happened. I don't think a ship arrived, as far as I'm aware. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy, like, a whole bunch of mussels. Let's buy 200 mussels. Let's buy 200 mussels. Why not? God, this this tuna, honestly. This this flipping tuna. What a ridiculous situation. What a ridiculous situation to be in, eh? Uh, no minor drone building. That's okay. That's okay. We're very, very, very okay with that. I, I basically need about a bajillion times more drones in order to in order to make things in order to make things operate. Uh yeah, there's a whole bunch of other other buildings. I have absolutely no idea, by the way, how um I have no idea at all how many buildings and bits and bobs are actually in the game. Uh, there's a lot of, like, edicts and other buildings that I sort of skipped past and went through the water filter navigation sign, you know, material budgeting, all of this sort of stuff that I've not really, I've not really done just to sort of see how far I could get up the tree. We're about 50% of or so of the way up the, um, up the research tech tree. And uh, I'm kind of having a great old time, so I would not be surprised. If I perhaps make a uh, make a second a second video um, of this uh, of this game because it is absolutely marvelous and balancing all the inputs, balancing all the outputs, it's a tremendously satisfying state of affairs. I'm very very much enjoying it. Uh, but for now, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up. Uh, this has been Aquatico, uh, the alpha the alpha demo thing, and um, it's marvelous. It's really really good. I am absolutely loving creating an an underwater society. It's very very cool, and my domes look heckin' incredible as well. We're missing seaweed, though. Fine. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos that is possible. But for now and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.